is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's inferno, the devil's maze. It's a good world. I've been selling um, black row books um, to clients. I've never been over here and actually hunted myself for one. And um, this year I've got an opportunity uh, to come to this area in uh, former East Germany and uh, hunt the elusive and to me very special black row book, which is um, the black phase of our normal Capriolus Capriolus. And um, well, to say I'm excited is a slight understatement. I understand it's hunting, it's the rut time, it can be um, a challenge and very unreliable but I'm here anyway. Um, it's the very end of July, um, we're here for a couple of days and hopefully we're gonna, just to get to see one will be amazing for me so uh, really looking forward to it. It's just breaking light and I'm following Hiker, my friend, who's in front of his car and uh, this is my first experience, I don't know this area at all. Which is unusual for me most of the places I go nowadays I've been a few times before so uh, it's quite unusual uh, in the fact that it's not completely blindfolded really so uh, looking forward to it very much and uh, quite literally let's see what happens
Ah. 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 Shoulder, mate. He <laughs> 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 was at home. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> how exciting was that? <sighs> I, I would have liked to have been able to study him, discuss him. But I know with this, such a short opportunity we've got to be here, a couple of days for outings. Um, and he already saw us, um, but I did a fantastic job of holding him, but I challenged him, challenged him, challenged him. And then he could actually see us, and he was just about to go, wasn't he? I, I'd got no shot. I'd just got um, uh, at the vertical of a tree right in front of it. Uh, and you could probably see his shoulder, I couldn't see it. And, uh, I would not, I was going to bark myself, and as I was going to bark, because I'm used to being you, you barked, and I'm like, as soon as I can get him to turn, he's going to have it. <laughs> and, uh, well, uh, this is the five minute cigarette now, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, well, I haven't even done an intro, so we've been here for about an hour, and we literally um, came into the block where Hike has seen this block, and um, You've just left it quiet for a week or two, haven't you? So, uh, ten and, days. Yeah, right. ten days oh, or something. Days. And um, there's there's two black books that he knows of here, and um, they don't like to shoot them uh, until they're nice and mature. This is a book of maybe four or five years. Um, Ike not only is a hunter, but he's a photographer, a filmmaker. So uh, he's documented over the years this deer. So it's very special for him and for me. Um, and it started with a talk in a pub one uh, spring when he was over hunting Munchak with me and uh, well my uh, hopefully my dream's complete it seemed like a good strike and a good kick out didn't it you know what I mean so um, so good but uh, although uh, he's fleed more than I would expect to be fair um, but as we have been challenging him calling him for the last five minutes so incredible Thank you. 
change the angle and just hit him in front of the yeah the chest. Yeah, that can be a long. Um, but then normally you get very deep. You get good blood then on the front, don't you? Mm. It's like cutting him with a knife. Um, so uh, this is hunting, and the uh, situation we're in is we've gone to this where we thought the strike would be our normal follow-up, and uh, we didn't find any blood, but we found or I found a strike on a tree which looked like a bullet, um, right on a scrape and um, no blood at all there so we, f we followed him in the air way he thought he was fleeing and we found a little bit of blood and um, we just followed it through with our thermals hoping maybe we've uh, got something safe. It could be a possibility in the na narrow channel that I had to take a shot that I've clipped a tree on the way down um, but although in my scope it seemed like a pretty um, clear shot uh, and I did wait for him to come out a little bit further because he was hidden by a tree so uh, we're going to give it an hour and we're going to go back and mark where we've seen the uh, blood and uh, we're going to give the scent hound a call but as we go back we're going to try and have another look with the thermals so that's the situation at the moment um, <coughs> it's a lot, long way to come for this frustration but uh, das ist Jagd as they say in Germany that is hunting and um, yeah, it's not over yet, but uh, it's not uh, it's not an immediate conclusion. So it's a few hours later than the, uh, the dogman's arrived with his Hanoverian, and uh, we're just going to go to where the uh, strike is and, uh, and have a look. It's very reassuring in Germany that they have a system uh, like uh, UK DTR that we have in England. But uh, this guy's turned up with this um, dog that gets a lot of work. So uh, if anybody's going to find it, it could be 20 metres into the bushes, but it's very thick, the cover is, and this is their standard follow up. So uh, it's very interesting for us to go and see it as well, especially myself, having worked um, blood hounds myself, to see how they're going to do it. And he was curving like that as he ran. Do you have it? Does he have him? Come on, Mesa. Yeah, he's coming. Do you want a knife? Yeah, I've got a knife. Yeah. Right, Give good. me a rifle then. Oh. Okay, so uh, after a difficult morning of taking a shot on this wonderful black buck um, that we, uh, we, th we, th we, th we thought was a good hit, um, later on the follow-up we couldn't find it, so uh, uh, is, as is completely normal in Germany, um, as in the UK, we did a follow-up and uh, called in a, a specific dogman um, with a big um, Hanoverian called Bart Thomas. He did a great job and um, after about an hour we found the book and it, it ended up being a, a um, top of the leg shot. Um, but anyway, we've ended up dispatching him and I've got the first black row book of my life. Uh, thank you very much, Ike, for that. Uh, now, it's very traditional that we uh, do this little ceremony in Germany. Can you explain what it is? Uh, it is uh, called Bruchübergabe. Bruchübergabe, yes. It means that I uh, hand you over the branch. Fantastic. Three different branches, and this one is for the, the animal. It's the, the broken side always points to the head when yes. it's a male. Yes. And points to the back side if it's a female. It's been put in a specific way, yes. Yeah. On top of the animal, broken sides. And the, the book has to face in a, a specific way as well. It has to lay on the right side. On the right side, yep. And then one branch is the last bite. The last bite. 
put it in here and this one is for you thank you so much thank you really really appreciate the uh, the time we've spent together really do thank you my hornady baseball cap hasn't got a place in it so i'm going to put it there so well what a fantastic time we've had and this i'm in well i'm virtually on the border of the old west east germany aren't i and yeah, um I, i've sold black roebuck here for about 15 years and i've been through it but i've never hunted in it and it's a fabulous area of lovely meadows rolling forests and, and beautiful quaint little villages with 100 200 year old uh, houses in it really lovely so we've had a great time the helix has been on a journey again i'm using the uh, the black orange helix which is for driven hunts but um, i thought it was really fitting that we shot a black book with my uh, black stock rifle and uh, um, thankfully it did a reasonably good job unfortunately the bullet on the way in clipped a branch uh, and caused it to go low so uh, we'll see about that further in the film